hi guys welcome back for another video i am going to do another holiday inspired look i've already moisturized my face so now i'm gonna go in with the professional this is the matte rescue by benefit and it looks like this okay guys i'm gonna go in with the anastasia brow pomade in the shape dark brown I got a sample of the YSL Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Foundation and I'm gonna try it tonight. It's supposed to be a matte finish comparable to the Lancome. So if I like the Lancome, the lady told me that I would like the All Hours. You guys know I go in with my brow densify. Just fill that in. And to finalize everything, I go in with the brow gel by Anastasia and I work it in the brows. It's like three products, the brow pomade, the brow densify, and the brow gel. I will go in with a flat brush and shape underneath what I just worked on and on top. I feel like this is not necessary, but even when I don't wear makeup, it really brings out the look. Like, I will just do my brows and I look put together. So, it, it does make a difference. I will go in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, the original, and go all over the lid, per usual. I'm gonna go in with the Soft Glam Palette and I'm gonna use Cypress Umber as my transition shade. And I'm going to go in with Sway, Sway from the uh, Tartis Pro Remix right here. It's like a rose gold color. I hope you guys can see that. I swatched it earlier and <laughs> I had a moment. Yo, it was so pretty. So I'm going in with Sway. And I will work that in because it doesn't need any help from me. So Sway is very pretty, very rose goldish. Not sure how it's coming off on camera, but it is pretty. I go back in with the blending brush with no product. And I just work it into the Cypress Umber from the Soft Glam Palette. And it's working out nicely. I am applying some setting spray to see how well Sway will come on the brush and how it will apply to the eyes. It definitely makes a difference. The color is more vibrant. You can see more of the, the rose gold. I like it. These colors come out so good with the fingers. When you apply it with your fingers, it is just, it makes a world of difference. I'm gonna use my finger. Definitely intensifies that. So I'm trying the all hours. I got two shades. I got B75 and B80. Let's do a quick test. So this is B75 YSL All Hours. I will insert a picture for you guys of what this is looking like. And B80 is a little darker. I will go on the opposite side of the brush and I will swatch that next to it. Hmm. So, one is looking a little red on the tones and then the other one is looking like it's very golden all right so what i'm gonna do is just add both now we don't want it to go in that wig <laughs> so i'm gonna go 
B75, and then B80. I don't think it matters too much because I'm going to blend it all together. You know, it's fragranced, y'all. I don't know if I like that. I don't like my foundation having a fragrance. I don't think. Ooh, it is highly fragranced. So if you don't like fragrance, just be aware. Ooh, I do like how it's feeling though. First impressions, I am liking this so far. It feels good. The finish is flawless. Whoo! Are you all seeing my face? I will say so far so good on that. The foundation is laying well on the skin. My pores are not emphasized. I'm going to go in with the C4.35 by Morphe. I did go up a shade darker because I felt like the other one was just slightly, just slightly too light. I'm going over with the Lancome setting powder. This is the dual finish by Lancome. I know, I do like Lancome. I'm not going to pretend that I don't. I'm still using that Artisan Color Big Blush in the shade Brick House by uh, Black Radiance. My current fave. I'm going to go heavy on the blush. Kind of matches my brows. So pretty yeah so far this all hours foundation who I think I love it I think I really love it it is making my skin look like perfection my cheekbones are pretty defined but I still go in with bronzer because why not I love my cheekbones by the way share with us guys like what your favorite feature is on your body what is your favorite feature about yourself let us know down below my three favorite features about myself in the neck up would be i love my eyes i'm an eyes person like i love eyes and i think i have very my eyes are shaped well they are balanced they balance off my face pretty well I also like my lips, they're full and I don't have to do much about it. And I love my high cheekbones. They have gotten quite much more defined the older I get, which I guess normally happens anyway. I'll take the blending brush and just go over my nose. Like honestly, you don't have to have a specific brush for that. I mean, a more defined one would probably be best, but this one does the job same way. See? Instant nose job. I just blend it in. And then I'll put the highlight, you already know, perfecto. I'm going to line my lash line with this pencil by Sephora. It is waterproof. Because we're going to go underneath that color with, um, with Cypress Umber that we used earlier with the pencil brush. Go in there, tap, tap. And go just below that so it's gonna like look very smoky very fast and the shadow kind of softens it up so it's not as harsh but it does make it smoky when you're doing that 
try not to blink. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Painted Lady, kind of like right here. I'm not going to go in the full lash line, just halfway. Wow. So what I did, I'm, I'm bringing this back down and I'm going to go in with silver in the inner corner. Yes. To join everything together. Ooh, we got a lot going on that lid girl. <laughs> but she, she cute. I am going to do my double up lashes. They are very firm. I'll give it a nice little shake so she can loosen up a little bit. I'm so much more efficient with just my fingers. It's like ridiculous. The bands are pretty thick and that might be why. Huh? Yep. And she is on. Oh, that's so cute. The shift in the eye is everything. I'm going to new Chestnut by MAC. And I'm going to go in with a nude lip. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.31 p.m. Hmm, right on time. That's how long I said I was going to film anyway. So... And I have this Too Faced Sellout lip. It's a nude lip, nude pinky lip. I used to be scared of this until I learned how to use it. So if you're a brown girl and you're scared of nudes, don't be. They can work really well if you learn how to use them. The Lancome Primer. In my bottom lashes so this is collab beauty in extreme black i cannot find my line comb so no line comb today this you can find this at sally's i personally don't recommend it the one itself is too big it's too thick for me personally but that's the one i have closest by so that's the one i'm gonna use yeah, they register better in my pictures. So if you check my pictures on Instagram, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, I will put my handle here for you guys. And overall, I think it's very pretty. I am gonna go in with my highlight by Wet n Wild. Oh girl, I love this foundation by YSL. My face is looking so cute, so flawless. We are looking cute, cute. This is an e.l.f. brush. This is a brush brush, but I use it to put my highlight. And it applies my highlight way better. Oh my God, y'all. This is so pretty. But nose right here. Blinging. I'm gonna put some gloss over the slip. You can always go in on top if you're feeling any type of dryness like I am and just go in a little gloss like so. And even if it was a nice matte lip before, it's now nice and glossy. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I love how it turned out. The nude lips are very, very perfect just because the eye stands out so much. Let me know what you guys thought about this look. I love it very much. I really do. Anyway, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.